Okay, today we're going to be talking about multi-step equations, the fractions edition. Yes, these problems are going to have fractions in them. They're going to look a little messy, but you can do it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do each problem a couple different ways. The first way is simply just to solve the problem. So in this case, we would work it just like any other problem. And we get rid of our parentheses first by distributing the one half. And in case you're wondering, one half times three over two is three fourths. Then I want to subtract one half x from both sides. Now you may be saying to yourself, how do you do three fourths x minus one half x? It's just three fourths minus one half or three fourths minus two fourths. And we get one fourth x plus one half equals three fourths. Then I'm just going to subtract one half from both sides. And we end up with 1 4th x equals 1 4th. Now to solve this one, the easiest way to do it is just multiply by the reciprocal. 4 over 1, 4 over 1. Those will cancel out, giving you x. And over here, you'll cancel out, giving you 1. Actually, on the left, it would be 1x, but you get that. Okay, so here's another way to do that problem if you don't like fractions so much. You still have to do the first step the same. The first step is going to be the same no matter what you do. You have to distribute that one half to get rid of the parentheses. We don't like parentheses. They're not very friendly. Now, what you want to do here? I'm going to multiply both sides by the common by the largest denominator. In this case, it's 4. That's our common denominator. So we can multiply by 4. And watch what happens. 4 times 3 fourths, that's 3x. 4 times 1 half, that's 2. 4 times 1 half, well, we're going to get 2x. And 4 times 3 fourths, we get 3. Now we have our whole numbers to deal with. So let's take away 2x from both sides. And we get x plus 2 equals 3. Then we subtract 2 from both sides. And we x equals 1. So that's a pretty complicated way to do the problem, but I think it makes the problem easier because you don't have to do fractions. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this problem. First, we're going to get rid of our parentheses by distributing. So we have 5y over 8 plus 8 equals 5 plus 2 fourths y. Or you could put 1 fourth y. Either way, it doesn't matter. All right, so now what I want to do is work the problem by, let's, let's do some subtracting. Let's subtract our 8 from both sides. And we get 5y8 equals negative 3 plus 2 fourths y. All right, so now I want to subtract my 2 fourths y from both sides. And remember, you're just subtracting fractions. It's all you're doing. So when you subtract fractions, we have to have a common denominator. 2 fourths will become 4 eighths. So we get 1 eighth y equals negative 3. And then to get rid of this 1 eighth, we can just multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. And we get y equals negative 24. Now let's work it another way and see if we get the same answer. We're still going to do the old distributive property on this one. It's the exact same problem. We get 5y over 8 plus 8 equals 5 plus 2 fourths y. But what would happen if we multiplied both sides by 8, which would be our common denominator? Well, in this case, we get 5y plus 8. Nope, not plus 8. It, remember, you have to distribute, so it's going to be 5y plus 64 equals 40 plus 8 times 2 fourths. Well, that's going to be 4y. Then I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides, and I get y plus 64 equals 40. 
subtract 64 from both, oh, excuse me, yeah, subtract 64 from both sides, and I get y equals negative 24. Wow, that's the same thing I got on the other problem. So you can do the problem either way, whichever works for you, but you probably want to practice a lot of these.